Hello everyone and welcome to Basic Path Nodes. This is just an introductory video kind of getting you up to speed in regards to some of the videos that are going to come about path nodes. In this video what we want to do is tell you what path nodes are, show you how important they are, and show you how bots respond without path nodes. So uh, got some interesting things we're going to be looking at. Logan, so what's a path node? Well, a path node is just one of the actors we use when we're defining our general navigation network. Uh, I mean, in general, you've probably heard of uh, bot pathing as taking your level and making it bot compatible. Okay. What we're going to be doing is going over, adding the individual path nodes, how to set up this navigation network. Because in the end, what path noding really means is building a navigation network so that when the bot decides he wants to go somewhere in the level, first he'll be able to use this network to find everything. So he wants to pick up a shield pack. He knows uh, he can trace a path through this navigation network to the shield pack, and then he'll take off and start running for it. Okay. So basically what you're saying then is by default, if I was to carve out a real simple room, a hallway, another the room and then throw a bot in there, the bot's not going to start wandering around on his own. No, if you're not, uh, I mean, he can do some very basic wandering, but not often. Okay, so uh, if he doesn't see you, right. he has no reason to walk around, he will generally just stand there and do So nothing. if he sees you, of course, all bets are off in regards to path notes. He's now ready to fight you. Right, because often in fighting, he can disregard path notes as long as he's not about to jump off of something. Okay, that makes sense. And, of course, if he sees a weapon, if that's in his line of sight when the level starts, he'll run straight to that. Right, because right? uh, and even then, a weapon base, it's actually, gonna act it's, as it's, a it spawns its own navigation point above it automatically. So it's going to kind of act as a path note itself. Right, right. Okay, so um, we've got a basic level right here that comes with Unreal Tournament, and we've kind of stripped it down just to make it a little bit easier to demonstrate what's going on. So look Logan, let's go ahead and see what happens if we just put a bot in here and no navigation points whatsoever. Okay. So we're going to load the map up real quick and let's see. And we'll go ahead and close all that out too. Sounds just good. Keep things a little easier. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and spawn in. And then as soon as we spawn, we're actually going to ghost out of the show what a bot truly does when it's on its own. So just back away so I jump out of the map. Because, again, we get into the problem of if he sees you... Right, he's going to start attacking, and it'll be hard to tell if he's moving around because he's trying to dodge you, or is he moving around because there's path nodes, or he's trying to go somewhere. Right. So now I'm going to bring down the console and type add bots 1. So add a bot into the level, and, well, there we go. The bot's not exactly really doing anything. Just kind of standing there. Like we were saying, he has basically we've stripped this level down. There's no navigation network. There's only a few items, but even those items he can't find because there's no paths to trace to it. Can you go up underneath the level and see him a little bit closer? Sure. Or I could do an oh, FOB command. That'll yeah. work. As a matter of fact, he's even staring at his feet. <laughs> well, that's not very productive. So now if you were to go ahead and come back up into the level and uh, set it up so that he can see you. Well, actually, what I was thinking is go ahead and jump back in there real quick okay. and ghost out, bring him back in, see him just standing there just staring at his feet, in the level and, and, then, and then hop back in the level and see what happens. So he can ghost out of the level for a second so we can spawn him. And, yeah, okay, so there's kind of a kill zone. <laughs> All right, one last time. Ghost out of the level and... Some of the bot, then jump back in. So here's the bot by itself. And yep, back to the old stare at feet routine. Now I jump in the level where he can see me. And now he's going to start moving around. Very good. Start firing. The so I mean, his uh, attack is going to take over. But again, he's still not going to be able to find him. Okay. So now the idea, of course, is for us to go through here and, and start developing this navigational system. Now, obviously, the placement of path nodes becomes pretty important, right? Yes, you have to have uh, certain spacing between them, make sure they don't get too close so the bot gets confused and not too far away so he can't get somewhere where he can't see a, a path node. Okay, and then there's also special conditions in regards to perhaps going through doors or Right, basically lifts. just uh, setting up the level so that the bot can properly interact with various elements you might have added, like uh, doors or elevators. Okay, so that's, of course, going to be some of the things that we're going to be looking at throughout the next few videos. So, so that's going to wrap up this little introductory video. In the next lesson, what we're going to do is actually set up a very basic navigational system with path nodes. All right, so that's going to wrap this one up. Thanks.